Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna have like a chit chat, help me prep for my medicines type of video. Um, it's currently December 3rd, the day I'm actually posting it. Yeah, sometimes I have the habit of filming and uploading. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but today I wanna speak to you guys and you guys can see how I organize my pills. I'm also gonna be talking about how I stay organized with my medication and with my transplant and everything. So before we continue, I want to quickly introduce myself for anybody that is new here. My name is Cindy Flores and on my channel, I share my kidney transplant journey as well as testimony, travel vlogs, lifestyle video, workout videos, and so much more. So if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. So guys, I actually got this video request from a friend of mine through Instagram. We met through my YouTube channel and she followed me through Instagram and you know, we message here and there. Her name is Miranda. So hi Miranda and thank you for requesting this video. You are lovely. Also, she shares her YouTube story here as well. So I'll link her down below if you guys wanna see her story. Anyways, let's just start organizing. So what I do, I have these you know, pill containers from the dollar store. I used to have this really big one, but this is a lot more convenient, this small one. And it's an AM and a PM, and I just basically put my medications. I have two of these, and usually when I fill them, I fill both of them, but I can't find the other one for some reason. Anyways, I'm gonna fill this, and this is actually where I keep all my medication, on this like little swivel thing. Um, I'm gonna put the medications that we're gonna work with here. So, biotin. My Carvedo lock, my blood pressure, my vitamin D, my microphenolate. Um, what else do I need? Oops. Anyways, my nail skin, my hair, skin and nail vitamin. Um, da, 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 da. My prednisone, I hate prednisone. Let's see what else. Where's my biotin? I need my biotin, of course. Oh, my bag is right here. Okay, so that's about it. These other pills that I have here are basically vitamins. So I have iron, folic acid, B6, melatonin, some of my daughter's medication, amoxicillin, um, Pepto-Bismol for kids, some garlic pills. You know, garlic has so many benefits, but I don't take this. My dad actually takes that. Okay. So we have all our pills here. So let me remind you guys what I'm taking for those who don't know. And by the way, guys, I am almost three years post-transplant. I can't believe. So I turned three years on February 3rd. So what, two months from now? Yeah, December, January. Yeah, two months from now. And it's crazy to think that I'm going to be three years. Like, I remember getting my transplant. I felt like I just got my transplant yesterday. But it's just so amazing how, how God is and how this transplant is so, you know, it's amazing how like I went from being on dialysis, close to dying, to now having a second chance of life. Okay, so I have my vitamins for my hair because, you know, my hair falls out a ton because of the medications. I like to believe that it's the medication, but now I'm starting to believe that it could be stress related. Anyways, that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> but I take this for my hair. It also helps my nails because my nails are very fragile and they break super easily. Then I have my prednisone as my anti-rejection and my microphenolate, which is basically the cell set. My vitamin D that I'm supposed to take once a week, but I'm not the best at taking it, honestly. And my biotin, which is also for my hair and my nails. And then Curvita Law. And I want to talk a little bit about this Curvita Law um, because you guys know it's a blood pressure medication. Um, so for anybody that is wondering, I am still taking blood pressure medications. I remember when I got my transplant, I'll actually insert a clip. Guys, I want to give you guys the honor of watching me take my last set of blood pressure pills. So I'll have Katie record. I cannot eat or drink after midnight, so 
They said I can to take my medicine, but minimal water, so. Here we go, take my medicine. But I honestly thought that the day, like the last day, the day I got my transplant, I really thought that I was taking my last set of blood pressure pills because I thought my transplant would do, you know, the job. But it doesn't, and I do have to take Carvade a lot. I'm currently taking 6.25 milligrams, which is honestly not a lot. Like, it's super small, and I take it, it's basically like half a pill. I take it um, twice a day, but honestly, I don't know if y'all do this, but don't listen to me in this aspect because, you know, you don't want to overprescribe. But sometimes when it comes to blood pressure pills, I do self-prescribe and what I mean by that is that when my blood pressure is a little high I will take two because it just helps um yeah don't listen to me guys don't do that anyways and here I also have like this circle little blue thing and it's actually another pill container and I got this from Walmart it came with the pink one and a blue one here I have the blue one to show you guys but it's basically like a little a little pill container and it's super easy what I do is just once I fill it, I put an AM and a PM, and I just toss it in the back of my purse. And, or in the front. Honestly, it's safer in the front. <laughs> um, and, and then I'm good to go because I always will have a set of pills near me. Okay, let's organize these pills. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I don't know who else gets really satisfied by doing this, by opening them. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I always like to start with my microphone away because I feel like it's the most important pill. So I just put three, I take three in the morning, three at night. Also guys, how have you been? Like, I feel like, I feel like I haven't been like, you know how I used to do on my channel, a lot of like vlogs and be super personal and show you guys a lot about my personal life. But I feel like lately it's been so much of me just sitting down and like talking about my transplant stuff. And yes, that's super personal to me. But I don't know. I feel like I haven't sat down and spoke about other things going on in my life. Um, but it's just, yeah. But if you guys are wondering, I've been good. Everything has been really good. Life and God has been really good to me. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> I do have some things that have changed in my life, um, which I'm going to be talking to you guys about it soon. For the better, guys. Of course, everything's for the better. You know, those who love Christ, everything happens for the better. Okay, I'm talking way, way too much. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm not this chatty, guys. You guys know me. I'm not this chatty. If you know me personally, you know that I'm not even that social of a person. Like, I'll talk to you. But like, it's not something that, oh my goodness, I love socializing. I feel like I'm an introvert and anybody close to me knows that I'm an introvert. Okay, so I have these pills here. Then we're gonna do, let's do the prednisone. The prednisone, I just take it in the morning, so. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna get back to doing my vlogs. Because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you guys could see more of me when I do those vlogs. Because I'm like talking to the camera, I'm like laughing with you guys. And yeah, so I'm going to get back on that. I am going to Honduras pretty soon, which I'm super, super excited. And um, if you guys know me, and if you guys have watched my previous videos, I mentioned that Honduras is my favorite place to travel to because that's where my family's from. And, you know, we have uh, basically a farmhouse out there. And it's just so amazing to go out there and relax and just basically be away from from everything. Like, you know, and kind of just get your little detox in from the world. Because <laughs> it's like in the mountains, you know, far away from everybody. <clears throat> so I'm going to be going there soon. I'm super excited. I'm going to vlog it for you guys. Um, why? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to vlog it for you guys, so that should be, you know, interesting. You guys are going to see me. I do already have a vlog of me in Honduras. Um, I'll link it down below so you guys can watch it. Um, but yeah, it's the best. And if you guys are wondering about traveling with a transplant, I'll link those videos down for you guys as well. Um, I'm going to take this in the AM. 
let's see let's take this what's today today's tuesday yeah today's tuesday so let's take it today because it is 8 50 and 10 more 10 more minutes i have to take my medication tuesday tuesday monday tuesday okay also another thing if you are wondering how i stay organized this is like the key always have your pills like prepped for the week or for whenever you know and then another thing alarms setting alarms on your phone is super super important um i usually have two alarms i have my 8 47 alarm which is basically a reminder to eat before my medications because you know i you guys know that sometimes i don't eat i mentioned it in my videos before sometimes i don't eat before my pills especially when i'm doing intermittent fasting um you know you purposely have to be in fasting for you for your body to hit like you know the point where you're pulling from your fat and everything anyways but i like noticed that every time i wouldn't eat with my pills my stomach would just make so much noise throughout the day so let's pause real quick let me go grab myself some cereal i just put that pill in and we will continue let me throw this away we will continue um <clears throat> Here. We'll be back. Hold on. Okay, guys. Lego was saying, <clears throat> um, I just got some cereal, something quick, you know. Um, yeah. So let me eat. Anyways, let's continue. Sorry, I'm still chewing, guys. I know. Okay. So for these pills, I have to put three. And I take them in the morning as well. Okay. Ooh, I'm like dropping these pills everywhere. Um, but yeah. Super important to eat before. Something that I wasn't really big on. I, well, I didn't do a good job doing. But now I... I'm doing like a better job because I noticed, you know, my stomach would just make too much noise throughout the day. Guys, I don't know if you can see, but look at my dog Priscilla. Like, Priscilla, come here. Come here. Come here. Jump. Jump. Look, look. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to everybody. They're looking at you. Come here. Yes, come here. Oh, guys, this is Priscilla. Um, she's actually like a border collie mix and a child child mix. And yeah, she's my little she's my little baby. Okay, our last pill is this biotin. And for this biotin, you're only supposed to take let's see, take one tablet daily. But I'm gonna be honest, I take two in the morning and two at night. I know that's not what I probably should be doing, but I just really need my hair to come back. And honestly, I feel like it is coming back. I feel like it is getting better. Oh, guys, you know what pill I'm forgetting to put in here? I'm forgetting to put famotidine, which I am supposed to take at nighttime. It's basically a pill for your stomach. So let's throw that in here as well. It's a little square pill. Okay. Guys, I have a question. Would you guys be interested in watching some videos of me like cleaning my house and like me like doing maybe like a mom series, like a video of being a young mom? I don't know, something like that. And I'm asking because like, I don't know, I like to watch those types of videos. Um, but everybody's different. Maybe you guys specifically only like to see kidney related videos because majority of you guys are kidney, you know, are here, you know, to hear kidney stuff. That makes sense. Anyways, we have our pills done for the week. Um, when it hits 9 o'clock, I will be taking my pills. So I have three minutes to finish this cereal and then I'll take my medication.
guys, this video is super informal. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm like, mm, this video is very informal. And I actually like it. I don't know about you guys, but I like making these type of informal videos and just being me and just talking with you guys. I feel like it's healthy for you and it's healthy for me. For you because you guys get to see, you know, a more real side of me. Even though, honestly, you guys already see the real side of me because when I talk in the videos, I'm like, ah. Anyways. But, yeah. So, it's 9 o'clock. Time for the pills. I have my handy dandy water. Um, what's today? Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Guys, you know what Tuesday means. Taco Tuesdays. Here where I live, there's like this really, really good place where they have tacos. So, I think I'm going to go have that for lunch or dinner. Oh, no. And yes, I put all my pills in my mouth at once. That was about like 10 pills. Ugh. I don't know if this happens to you guys. Let me know in the comments or if I'm the only weird one. Uh, but every time I take pills, I feel so disgusting. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. And I don't know if it's because it reminds me of like every time I took my binders or just all my health. It reminds me of like, you know, the whole process. I don't know what it is. Anyways, <laughs> but Cindy, snap out of it. You're good. You swallowed the pills. Anyways, guys, to sum up this video, the best way to stay organized is to set alarms because that's what I do. Have a set of your medications always in your purse or somewhere near, like put some in your car. Sometimes I'll put medication in my car because, you know, where if I'm out, I know my car is nearby. And then organize them like this. It's super important. And yeah, so then you can just easily grab them and go. It's so convenient. And that reminds me, I didn't fill my little blue one because I was over here showing you guys. I'm going to fill this up. But anyways, let me just end this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Miranda for requesting this. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.